What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and I flew five different ducted drones that all use the DJI FPV system. And these five drones are all pretty unique and I think they're special in their own right. We have the $1,000 Avada and a couple of different options for about 200 bucks. Let's break these down. Uh, what am I talking about? What are we flying? Some of these have really high quality cameras and some of them are pretty good, especially when you're flying FPV. Now flying FPV isn't for everybody and if you do it uh, and you haven't tried the DJI system, I'd highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Now it is expensive, but the quality coming out of this is fantastic. And a lot of people want to know, uh, can I fly, you know, the uh, DJI Air Unit or should I offer the Air Unit Pro? Or maybe I should just stick with one of the ready-made drones like the Avada 2 or even the Neo. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of compare uh, five drones that do five different things, but all use these DJI goggles. Let's go over the drones that we're talking about. So I'm gonna start with the smallest drone. It's this guy. It was actually a transplant of the Beta FPV uh, Meteor Pro 75, and it just has a different canopy because I prefer it versus these hard mounts. That's just a me thing. It is a 1S drone. Uh, it has the DJI Air Unit, not the Air Unit Pro. A lot of people call this the Air Unit Lite. Great for indoor stuff. Kind of got lost a little outside because it's a little bit underpowered. A step up from that would be this guy. This is the Mobula 7. Again, I transplanted onto a slightly larger frame. I have a whole video on that. Using the same camera system, just a little bit better, and I can use a 2S battery so I get a little bit more power. It's better outside and can be flown inside, but 2S getting a little heavy. The next drone I flew was this is the Beta FPV Pow 20 Pro uh, 2 or 3S. It's definitely a little bit heavier. I love uh, these LEDs in the outside, really nice. Uh, but this guy has the Air Unit Pro and the picture coming out of this, fantastic. So that's another thing you gotta consider. I also flew uh, this here, this is the DJI Neo. I flew it FPV. No, it doesn't have to be flown FPV, which I'll talk about. Uh, 200 bucks. And then this guy, the big dog, uh, this is the DJI Avada 2. Uh, coming in at right around $1,000. It's actually like 450 bucks if you just buy the drone, but you, why would you just buy the drone? You need uh, the goggles and you'll also need um, an FPV controller, unless you like the motion controller. I don't, I prefer a standard remote. Uh, so I had to fork up some cash for that as well. Okay, so let me talk about my flight experience with these drones, starting with this Avada 2. I love it. This is one of my favorite drones of all time. I love being under the goggles in this. The camera is so crisp and clear, great video. It just flies so smooth, whether I'm in manual mode, in sport mode, or normal mode, I'll fly in all of those modes. Um, it's not something I really like to use inside just because it is so big and powerful, but I can fly it indoors if I had to, just because it is so darn stable. Now it is big for that. Um, now, is it an acro ripper? No, but it does acro decently. Uh, if you want to just kind of get outside and fly around, do flips and rolls, you can, but I love the picture and video coming out of this thing. Uh, I can throw ND filters on it. It is a great drone. It is so fun to fly. It is so smooth. The biggest issue with this guy is it's expensive, right? Like I said, 450 bucks or a thousand bucks to buy the goggle package. And then you still gotta buy an FPV remote unless you wanna use that goofy uh, motion controller. So that's what you're getting when uh, you fly the Avada 2. Love it, expensive, great for outdoors, can be used inside because it is so stable, but you gotta be really careful. So next I'm gonna talk about this, the other made by DJI drone, the DJI Neo, and flying it under the goggles, mm, not my favorite, especially in manual mode, it just, it just doesn't perform well. Even when I tried to tweak the settings, it does fine in normal or sport mode if you're just kind of cruising around. But I find the field of view to be pretty darn narrow, which makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, the camera's all right. Again, we have a one axis gimbal, so uh, that is pretty solid. It's mostly just stabilized electronically. All of these are stabilized electronically. The footage I did was uh, 4K. This one was 4K30, I did 4K60 on uh, the Avada 2. Uh, if it had the ability to 4K, 
to do 4K60, that's what I shot in, so you can kind of compare the video, but I think this guy really just shines as a different kind of drone. Sure, it's fine with the, with the goggles, and really, I wouldn't recommend buying goggles to fly this drone unless you already have them yeah, then absolutely give it a shot. But this drone excels as a selfie drone, right? You can fly it with no controller. You just kind of push a button. I love that I can uh, fly this with pretty much the standard DJI remotes. Uh, I have a DJI Mini 4 with the remote and screen. I can fly with that. Uh, you can get an RCN 3 and fly it with your phone. You could just fly with your phone solo. So this one is just so versatile. Um, not great for FPV, and it, you know, kind of flips and rolls, just eh. Uh, but still kind of fun. Uh, if you're looking for something smaller, uh, I'd check out some of the other tiny whoops that uh, I've flown before. So let's talk about those. Yeah, this one is really nice. It's pretty stable, but it doesn't have that kind of built-in altitude hold that the uh, Avada 2 does. So you really have to be able to manage your throttle with this. The camera is fantastic. Uh, I really enjoy flying it. Uh, I find it to be smooth. So it does good cinematic stuff, but it's not great for acro ripping. So just kind of keep that in mind. This is good for indoor stuff, but you really have to be a pretty solid established pilot to be able to do some of that. So keep that in mind. Great for video, but you really gotta know what you're doing with this guy. So how about these, the one ass whoops, they're so fun to fly. Inside is where they really excel. The field of view is kind of narrow and the view coming out of these isn't as nice as coming out of an Air Pro uh, or the Avada. This is basically on par with a DJI Neo in terms of quality, but these guys are so small and light. Really great for flying indoors, which is really where this guy shines. It's fine outside, it does okay outside, but if you want something uh, that you can fly outside, this one, so fun, this Mobila 7 Convert. Uh, when it was just a Moby 7, still fun. It was basically this size. So I just made it a little bit bigger. I got a whole video on doing that, but uh, I really enjoyed flying this guy outside in acro mode. Now, if you're really looking for something that you can rip around outside with the GI system, I don't think any of these are actually the right answer. I got some stuff on my wall, right? That if you, if you look, those four inch, five inch quads, probably better for just outdoor ripping. I don't like to do that because this, they're so loud, they sound angry and everyone comes over to see what you're doing. I prefer these smaller ducted quads. This one in particular, I'm gonna keep ripping this one. I gotta fix the camera, I knocked it out of place, but so fun to fly. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and you kind of understanding some of these different ducted options. Maybe I'll do a video on unducted uh, or traditional open prop drones, maybe toothpicks, three inch, four inch, five inch, and we'll go from there. But yeah, the DJI system is fantastic. Pricey, but so nice, right? Those analog days, oh, I, don't, I do not miss flying analog. These are so nice. If I miss something, let me know. Uh, what do you think? Is there a better ducted drone? I think there are plenty of different options. And yeah, I think you can customize, build something you really want. Is it bigger than this, smaller than this, uh, somewhere in between? Maybe, I think, I wish, I wish this did the things that the Neo did. It should be able to, I just didn't bother. Uh, but that would be the drone to get if it could do those things. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.